This is Angel Messages with Caroline Nettle. Today is the 4th of January 2014. So we are in a brand new year. So Happy New Year to everybody wherever you are on the planet. And um, I really hope that you've got some very exciting things to look forward to this year. I know that the planets are all aligning so it's going to be a very good year. And um, hope that you had a lovely festive season. And if you didn't, um, well... Here we are in a brand new year, so let's leave the past behind. And I'm going to do an angel reading to the 12th of January 2014. <clears throat> How are you doing with those New Year's resolutions? I've given up making them myself because I am she of no willpower whatsoever. <laughs> but I heralded in the new year in a sweat lodge, which was just an amazing, amazing experience with lots of really wonderful people. And, um, yeah, just really, really enjoyed it. Okay, so today's cards are, you are profoundly clair clairvoyant. Can't say it. Now, I'm using the Angel Therapy cards from Doreen Virtue. You are profoundly clairvoyant. Ear chakras, so that's all about listening. Okay. A bit of a theme going on here today. And this one. Shield yourself. Okay. So you are profoundly clairvoyant. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight for your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching and guidance. I love these cards. They're so beautiful. They don't stand up very well apparently today. Okay, you are profoundly clairvoyant. So this, I'm being told very clearly, is all about how the energies on the planet are raising and... Um, <clears throat> So it feels like it's going to be easier to get in touch with our inner gifts. Now, um, you know, everybody is able to be psychic, clairvoyant, claircognizant, clairsentient. And the other one, which I'm forgetting briefly here, but um, and it's just like a muscle. So if you exercise it, then it gets stronger. And what I'm hearing here is that if you are using your clairvoyancy already, it's going to be much sharper, much clearer, and you're going to get changing messages. And what I mean by changing messages is messages that are coming through and they're going to be much more profound, of a much more profound nature. If um, you're just starting out on your journey and you would like to find out whether or not you're clairvoyant or how clairvoyant you are, because like I said, we're all clairvoyant. This is something about clearing away that which is standing in your way to believing that you are able to do this. The image that they're showing me is a whole world inside your head which is not going on in front of your eyes, which is effectively what clairvoyance is. So they're just showing it to me in a very uh, simple way to say, you know, we are able to understand universal truths and, you know, life after death and big questions like why am I here much better if we are practicing our using our four clairs um not much more to say on that apart from you need to believe that you are profoundly clairvoyant ear chakras notice messages that appear as sounds music and words from both external sources and within your mind these messages are real answers to your prayers now i think that really follows on from your profound profoundly clairvoyant or clair audience. You are profoundly clairvoyant. So ear chakras is all about hearing the messages. So the angels are very much saying we are nudging you in the right direction. We're really um, coming close and whispering in your ear. And um, the issue I think with human beings and with the life that we lead today is that um, you know, it's too hectic. It's just too hectic. So we're just coming back now after a big holiday where you've probably gone one of two ways. You've either got really fit and done lots of exercise or you've overindulged a little bit and therefore you're going into the new year feeling a bit, you know, rotten. So stillness is a word that they're giving me. So maybe going into this week, it's really important to try and have some me time and, um, you know, stay off the computer if you can, or switch off the mobile if you can, or give the kids to somebody else for the afternoon if that's possible. You know, 
<clears throat> actually constructing a, a, a time that is suitable for you to just relax and meditate and listen. This is very clearly about listening to the messages in your head. And there's a, a message here as well about what I choose to hear and what I choose not to hear. So being open to receiving all the messages that you're given and being open to understanding that they are messages for you. Shield yourself, protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisaging a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. Now I'm being told that this is because the energies are changing. There's some really strong energy hitting the planet right now and those of us that uh, are really sensitive to it are really feeling it. Not that you need to shield yourself from high energy at all, but when the high energy comes in, it can shake up the lower energy. So it's always a good idea. And as you raise your vibration, you can often attract people to you who are attracted to your higher vibration. And um, they may not have your best interests at heart. So one of the ways that I do this is I imagine walking into a shower. <clears throat> And the shower is raining down, obviously, light, and it's cleansing me, this purifying light. And I step from the shower into a pink bubble. It doesn't need to be pink. Sometimes it's gold, but this is the color that comes for me. And in there, I can only allow in that which is love. So it protects me from any kind of psychic attacks or anything that's not love. So love can come in and everything else can't. But at the same time, it prevents me from being unloving. So it only allows love from me to go out. So if I'm being a bit critical or judgmental or, you know, not my divine self, um, it, it can prevent that from coming out and affecting the world around me. Yeah, it really helps me to not pick up other people's energies. Okay, what else do you want them to know? It is a new year. It is a very exciting new year. Um, it's a year of feeling uh, joyful and celebrating. So um, the angels are really encouraging us to find something to be joyful about and to not do those things which make us unjoyful. So I really am talking here about... Um, behaviors and activities that bring you joy and bring those around you joy because as I raise my vibration to joy so those around me can can you know benefit from that and and raise their vibrations as well so it's a very positive message as we are going into the new year you are profoundly clairvoyant listen to the messages coming through your ear chakras um they are real answers to your prayers and shield yourself as the energies around you are are changing so i have a wonderful guest on my radio show this week which airs on tuesday nights at 7 p.m gmt her name is bridget parvin she's an atp like me she's a one i'm so excited to have her on and we'll be doing, um, we'll be taking questions in the second half of the show. So you can ring up and find out what the angels have in store for you this year. We'll be taking a few callers. Obviously, we can't get to everybody. So uh, do be sure to call in. And please go and find us on Facebook and like the page there, Your Angel Readings on Facebook. And also, if you haven't already downloaded your free book, um, Where's my man? What's my life purpose? And other questions the angels can help you with. Please go ahead and do so by signing up for the newsletter on yourangelreadings.com. And you will then receive these um, weekly messages um, to your inbox. It's the only thing I send. Okay, so wishing you a very, very happy new year. May 2014 bring you absolutely everything you need and want. If you're thinking about asking for a little bit of guidance for this year, what should you do or what's coming for you, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. I'd be delighted to do an angel reading for you. So I send you very much love and I'll be in touch again on the 12th of January. Bye bye.